compare with actual rent of 40, whichever is high. So which is the highest amount? Yes, it is 42,000. 6 lakh into 30 percent, 1 lakh 80 thousand. So interest on loan, if it is given, that also we deduct here, it is not given. So they had given too many informations, but just you follow the format, don't do anything extra adjustments without or which is not there in the format. Hello everyone, I'm Arun Kumar, lecturer in Department of Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Dear students, welcome to this new session, session number two on unit number four, that is income from house property. Yes, dear students, in the previous session, we discussed about what is income from house property and what is annual value, what is municipal tax and how to compute the gross annual value about these many concepts we were discussed in the earlier session. In this session also, we continue solving the problems based on the topic income from house property. So in the previous session, we solved around two problems. Now in this session, we continue with problems only. So problem number three computes the net annual value from the following information. Yes, in the previous session, we solved two problems with respect to computation of gross annual value. But in this problem, it is about computation of annual value. So here they are given four houses, house one, house two, house three, house four. And also they had given few informations that is municipal value, fair rental value, actual rent, standard rent and municipal taxes paid. Okay, this many information is given with respect to all the four houses A, B, C and D. So if you go with the first one, okay, so how to find out the net annual value? So first let us solve with the first one. So what is the format? Format is very simple particulars amount amount. So now you need not to go with the format just you can go with the you know two uh, columns that is particulars amount amount okay so with the, with respect to the first house or house a so what is the municipal value so to find out the gross annual value before finding out the annual value first you are supposed to find out the gross annual value right so what is the gross annual value formula okay so formula is municipal value fair rent whichever is high and the highest amount with the you know the standard rent whichever is low and the lower value compared with whichever is high that is the actual rent compared with actual rent whichever is high so the highest amount will be considered as the gross annual value so here in house 1 or house a see municipal value are fair rent in these two whichever is high okay municipal value and fair rent whichever is high yes 75000 is the highest amount now compare this 75000 with standard rent okay compare this with standard rent standard is not there whichever is low obviously 75 is the low amount now compare the 75,000 with actual rent whichever is high so which is the highest amount yes 75,000 your 75,000 is going to be your gross annual value of house 1 how much 75,000 right less so what you are going to deduct you are going to deduct the municipal tax you want to deduct municipal tax so what is the municipal tax of house one it is six thousand so deduct six thousand rupees what is the balance you will get here it's sixty nine thousand okay so sixty nine is the annual value of house one that's it finished next we go with house two Okay, house two. So see here, municipal value and fair rent. In these two, whichever is high, okay, whichever is high, which is the highest amount, sixty thousand. So compare the sixty thousand with standard rent. Standard rent is fifty four thousand. In these two, whichever is low. So in these two, which is the least amount, fifty four. Compare fifty four thousand with actual rent. Okay, compare with the actual rent. So here. In these two, whichever is high is 60,000 and compare with, compare with the standard rent. Here the standard rent is 72, okay, 72. Now in these two, which is the least amount? Yes, 60,000. Compare the 60,000 with the actual rent. Actual rent is here 54. Actual rent is 54. 60 and 54, whichever is high. Yes, 60 is the highest amount, okay. Now that 60,000 is going to be as what? It is going to be the gross annual value of house 2. How much? 
Yes, it is rupees 60,000. 60,000. So, less. Less municipal tax. So, what is the municipal tax against house 2? It is 4,800. So, minus 4,800. Okay. Minus 4,800. What is the balance? Yes, it is 55,200. So, annual value of house 2. Finished. Next, gross annual value of house 3. So, here, the municipal value and fair rent in these two, whichever is high, which is the highest amount, 45,000. Compare with standard rent of 42,000, whichever is low, which is the least amount, yes, 42. Compare with actual rent of 40, whichever is high. So, which is the highest amount? Yes, it is 42,000. So, take 42,000 as the gross annual value. Okay, 42. Thousand. Next, less, less municipal tax. So, what is the municipal tax paid? 3600. 3600 is the municipal tax paid. So, deduct 3600. What is the balance you will get? You will get 38,400. Okay, 38,400 will be the annual value of house 3. Next, we go with house 4. Okay. House 4. So, gross annual value of house 4. Okay. So, again now. So, municipal value and fair rent, which is highest amount, whichever is high. So, highest value is 1,16,000. Compare with the standard rent, standard rent is 1,15,000. So, in these two, whichever is low, the lowest amount is 1,15,000. Compare with the actual rent of 1,20,000, whichever is high. So, highest amount is 1,20,000. So, 1,20,000 is your gross annual value. 1,20,000 less municipal tax of rupees how much? 9,600. So, deduct this much. What is the balance? So, the balance is 1,10,400 annual value of house 4. That's it. So, this is how you are supposed to solve if they ask you to find out the annual value. So, moving on to the next problem, problem number 4. From the following information, compute the annual value of house. So, in this also, just you are supposed to find out the annual value. So, informations are municipal value, fair rent, standard rent, actual rent is given. So, here what is the municipal value? 4 lakh. Fair rent value? 3 lakh 60,000. In these two, whichever is high. So, which is the highest amount? 4 lakh. So, compare this 4 lakh with standard rent of 4 lakh 50,000, whichever is low. So, which is the least amount in these two? Yes, 4 lakh. Now, compare this 4 lakh with actual rent. So, what is the actual rent we have here? It is 50,000 per month, right? So, 50,000 into 12 months, you will get 6 lakhs. So, 4 lakh and 6 lakh, whichever is high. So, 50,000 into 12 months, if you do, you will get how much? You will get 6 lakh rupees. So, 6 lakh and 4 lakh, which is the highest amount? Yes, obviously, 6 lakh rupees. So, how you will solve the problem? You will make two columns, particular amount. So, gross annual value is how much? 6 lakh. That is rupees 6 lakh. Less municipal tax. MT is nothing but municipal tax. Municipal tax is not given. Then take the same balance to the next. Then this balance will be called as the annual value. Okay. And to continue with, they are not asked to find out the house property income. Just if you continue, then you go with less deduction under section 24. Okay. In that, the what is the first point? Yes. 30% of you know, annual value. So, what is the annual value we have? 6 lakh rupees into 30 percent. Okay, how much you will get? 6 lakh into 30 percent, 1 lakh 80 thousand. So, interest on loan, if it is given, that also we deduct here, it is not given. So, deduct 1 lakh 20. Uh, what is the balance? You will get 4 lakh 20 thousand. So, this 4 lakh 20 is called income from house property. Income from 
house property. Just here in this problem, we are supposed to solve the annual value. But if you continue with, this is what the income from that particular house. Next, moving further, problem number five. Mr. Ram owns a house property. Its annual letting value is rupees 80,000. During the previous year, it was monthly rent for rupees 7,000. He claimed the following expenses. That is municipal tax paid is rupees 8,000. Expenses is rupees 600. And maintenance allowance paid to the stepmother is 12,000 annually. And which was a charge on the property to his father's will. The house remained vacant for one month during the previous year. Find out the income from house property for the assessment year 2023-24. So yes, here by using this information, we are supposed to solve the problem. So they are given too many informations, but just you follow the format. Don't do anything extra adjustments without or with, which is not there in the format. So it's very easy. First, you can see here the gross annual value. We already find out the gross annual value. So how we find out the gross annual value? The value is... 80,000 rupees, okay? Like, the, like, it's like a fair rent or fair market value or fair rent value, it's 80,000. And he used to collect 7,000 rupees per month as rent. And the house was vacant for one month during the previous year. That means in 12 months, the house is not let out for one year. It is let out only for 11 months. So 7,000 into 11 months. So 7,000 into 11 months, you'll get 77,000. Okay, now your value will be the rent received. Okay, the rent received is going to be your value. That is the gross annual value. So rent received 77,000 less municipal tax paid. What is the municipal tax paid? Yes, it is given in the problem rupees 8,000. So deduct this 8,000. What is the balance you will get? The balance you will get is 69,000. So from that 69,000 less deduction admissible that is under section 24 30 percent of annual value that is on 69,000 69,000 into 30 percent so how much you will get 20,700 deduct this you will get the balance of rupees 48,300 48,300 will be your income from house property so interest on loan is given that also will deduct but it is not given in this problem. So this is how you're supposed to solve it. Next, moving further, problem number six, compute taxable income from house property from the following information or from the following particulars. So fair market value is given 80,000, actual rent is given 72,000, municipal value is given 50,000, standard rent is given 60,000, municipal taxes is 10,000 and interest paid is 18,000. So what is the format? Again, it's very easy, particular amount. That is enough to solve the problem. So first we find out the gross annual value. So what is the first step? Municipal value and fair rent. So here we have the fair rent of 80 and municipal of 50,000, whichever is high. So in 80 and 50, which is the highest amount, 80,000 is the highest amount. So compare this 80,000 with standard rent, 80,000 and standard rent of 60. In these two, whichever is low. So which is the least amount? Yes, 60,000. Correct. So now compare that 60,000 with actual rent of 72,000, whichever is high. That is high, low, high. So which is the highest amount? Yes, 72,000 is the highest amount. This will be considered as your gross annual value. So here, gross annual value 72,000. Less municipal tax. So, what is the municipal tax given in the problem? Yes, it is 10,000. So, less 10,000 will get the balance of 62,000. That 62 is called annual value. So, from annual value, less deduction, that is 30% of annual value is how much? It is 18,600. That means if you compute 30% on that value, you will get 18,600. So, 62,000 into 30%. Okay, you'll get 18,600. And interest paid is also given. What is the interest paid here? 18,000. No. So deduct 18,600 and 18,000. Totally you are deducting 36,600. So from 62,000, 
deduct 36,600, the balance you will get is 25,400. That balance will be called as income from house property. So it is very easy to solve the problem. Just you are supposed to follow the format, nothing else. So even though if they give any other adjustments also, don't worry about those extra adjustments. Just focus on the format, not anything else. Okay. So this is how you are supposed to solve the problem. With this, I'm going to wind up this session. I'll come up with few more new problems with respect to income from house property. Until then, thank you all. Have a nice day. Namaste.